what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and today i thought we could talk about the emotional and physical abuse that happens in psych wards so to anyone who doesn't know for the last five years i've been in and out of hospital basically battling my own mind and i can safely say now that i don't think i'll be going back inpatient because i'm stable i'm happy i'm doing well the first time i really experienced abuse in psych ward was when i was admitted to a ward called pond ward in central and northwest london i was put on a section two which i think was really fucking sneaky they didn't even come and tell me they was putting me on a section two they just wham section two and then i was dragged onto a ward i didn't even get the option to walk onto a ward they literally grabbed both my arms like that and dragged me onto a wall. Now, I think that was unnecessary. They could have just told me you were on section two. If I'd kicked off, I'd understand, but I didn't. I never kicked off really i try to leave when i can when the doors aren't locked like in a &E. problem is with abuse and psych wards is you're left with more mental scarring afterwards by talking about this it's triggered flashback already emotionally i was admitted to another ward in southwest london and st george's and i can safely say that i i will never go back to that ward i put in a complaint against that ward twice i've been admitted there three times and two of the times i've put in a complaint and wrote to cqc Let's talk about emotional abuse, because I think we all know that restraints are overused. They hurt, you put it left with bruises and broken wrists and ankle. I know for me in restraint, I sprained my ankle. I almost broke my wrist, because of how they grabbed me. They grabbed me like that, which is painful. Especially when they're like, holding you behind your head on a bed. It was just so unnecessary. There's never a reason to hurt another human being. If you hurt someone, you're responsible for that. Even if you are restraining them, you still shouldn't cause harm. That defeats the whole object of it, really. If you put someone in restraint to prevent harm, but then they're getting hurt in restraint, which causes harm. The thing that's hard about abuse in type wars is not many people talk about it. People just let it go, and they really shouldn't have to. I've witnessed it on Instagram a lot. People talk about getting put in restraint and getting hurt. And then there's nothing more, no follow up, no complaint, no nothing. And that's so wrong. Emotional abuse wise, I've been told to just get over it. Great advice from a psychiatrist. I've been told that I'm just a borderline, so I've got a limp to cope. And BPD is not my primary diagnosis. I've been told to just motivate myself in a discharge meeting when I didn't have the motivation to do anything. Just motivate yourself. That's easy to do with depression. Then there was once I was admitted to Rose Ward, the ward I'll never go back to, the one I was admitted to three times. My hair was all matted down the sides. I don't think I got any photos from them. I was I was really depressed. And I said, I'll cut them out when I go home because I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't brush them out. And the psychiatrist said, just have a shower. I had a shower, washed my hair. So your hair's still matted. You obviously didn't have a shower. Like, it's my head. Water's not going to get out. You took my shampoo and conditioner off me. That one experience really did irritate me. Uh, it still bothers me to this day. I think the worst restraints I've ever been in was when I was in Sussex County Hospital. I was part of Section 2 and I was detained under the Mental Capacity Act. They said I didn't have capacity, which if you don't, don't know what the Mental Capacity Act is, I'll put it on the screen now. The Mental Capacity Act is used when people don't have... aren't in... A good enough mindset to make an educated decision on their own care and I was put in restraint by four security guards I was put on one-to-one -one with a security guard and a healthcare assistant and then I was put on to two security guards with a HCA and honestly it just got so out of control I tried to kill myself twice and I nearly succeeded. My camera's flashing red, that's not good. I was restrained a lot in that time, in them two weeks I was there. Well, they tried to find me a bed on a mental health unit. I appealed my section and I lost. If you want me to make a video on the applications to appeal sections, let me know. Because I haven't talked about that before, so let me know. Physical abuse happens every day in psych ward. And no one talks about it. We need to change that. If you get hurt in psych ward, complain. Like the CQC, CQC, Care Quality Commissioner. There are things you can do. If you speak out about it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get your stories heard. Heard. Don't 
sit in silence. There's so much you can do that can really help better your life quality. If you're in a psych ward right now and you witness abuse, speak up. Abuse is very real in these situations and it's important that we realise that and we start speaking out against it. Do you want me to tell, go into more specific stories about my, the abuse I've witnessed and that I've been subjected to? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll happily make a video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.